We're looking at the tree behind us. This is sycamore or American sycamore. It's in the family Platanaceae, genus Platanus, and the species name is Platanus occidentalis. Some of the notable features we're going to look at a little more closely, but the bark, if you can see behind me, we'll take a closer look at it, has several textures and multiple colors from a smooth sort of creamy color to some greens maybe some tans looking a little bit closer at the bark you can see different patches here and this is fairly smooth and if we go up just a little bit you can see that there are significantly smooth patches here and then some of the bark will actually flake off if we look closer you can see some of the texture on the inside of the bark and the outside but you get these multiple colors notice the difference in the texture of the bark as we go from the upper canopy which would be the younger growth all the way down the trunk and we get into the more mature growth at the base of the trunk and it starts to be that scaly or checked pattern as you move down into the older growth. The leaves are simple leaves, so attached to a twig and at the end of the twig, or at the end of the petiole, you'll see that there's a little bit of a swelling at the base. And inside the swelling, you would actually find a bud. So the leaf scar completely encircles the bud of the sycamore. The leaf is also what we think of as lobed, and it has these little, almost sort of coarse teeth as it goes around. Some people might, on the face of it, confuse this with some of the maples that we might look at or that you might see, uh, but this is sycamore. It's in a different family and different genus. The backside might have a little bit of fuzzy hairs to it, if you can see that. A little fuzzy white. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. Also, the uh, tree puts out a little bit of a fragrance and so you can smell this sweetness to it as it goes. This is alternately arranged so we can see in the back side a little easier we see bud coming out and then a bud coming out and it goes up like that. The newest twig a little bit browner in color and then it grays a little bit with the second or third year of growth. The fruit hangs down in this sphere, and each one of these little pieces that you can see are actually seeds. So this is an aggregate of seeds in here. These hang down singly, occasionally uh, you might see them in pairs. If we take one that's a little bit older, we can see that it puffs out, and then these are very, very f fluffy, and it helps them to be carried on the wind. So the seeds would be forming in the fall. Actually, they're starting to form in sort of early to mid-summer, and then they'd be fully mature, and then they break up. They'll hang throughout sometimes the winter, so you can see them on as a good leaf-off tree identification, and then they become very easy to pull apart in the following spring. The buds of the sycamore, as I mentioned earlier, are hidden underneath the petiole or within the petiole of an emerging leaf, and this, where my thumb is pointing here, is a bud, and you can see that some of this cap is just coming off. So instead of having scales, it has more of a cap-like structure that covers the entire bud before it emerges.